to my channel. My name is Angie and today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. So it's been quite a while since I filmed on this channel and I thought what better way to get back into the groove of things over here than to do a Dollar Tree haul like I used to do. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, things that I recently picked up. I picked up quite a few things to get organized at home um, and I'm going to start with the things that I bought like multiples of so we can go ahead and get those out of the way I don't feel like I need to show you like every single one because obviously they are multiples of the same thing so let's go ahead and dig in first I have this huge bag of organizing stuff um, I did pick up multiples of a few of these things so Dollar Tree has their own version of like space bags. Some of them are made like space bags where you suck the air out with a vacuum cleaner. And then other ones are just like a giant Ziploc bag, if you will. Um, so I did pick up three of the giant Ziploc bag style. Um, these are size two foot by 20 inches. Um, so I just got these for some seasonal, you know, clothing and things that I don't use all year round. Um, just to keep them, you know, like nice and fresh and you can like pack your clothes in these and like do dryer sheets in between them um, And then when you take them out of the bag, you know, you can fluff them in the dryer or whatever and they smell fresh So there's a little tip there So I picked up three of those and then I also picked up ten of these storage bins now these are 10 and a half inches by 11 inches and they do have like a, a pull on the front. Um, so these are made like the storage cubes, you know, that you see at the store that come with like the, the shelving unit for the cubes. Um, I have wire racks, um, so it, it'll work fine. Um, I just got these to organize like accessories and shoes and you know extra socks and things like that um, that I don't want in the dresser or can't fit in the dresser um, so or even like hair products and things like that so I just really want to get organized um, this summer so I bought 10 of this same color it's like a medium gray with like a darker gray lining so I thought that was really really nice they had a couple of them unfolded in the store and I was looking at them they're a decent quality I think especially for $1.25 like I'll get a lot of use out of these all right the next item I picked up and I've been meaning to get a few of these are mesh laundry bags um, just to wash like my bras and like intimates in, um, just so that they you know don't get snagged in the washer and things like that um, I have some like nice like lace uh, racerback bralettes that I want to keep nice and um, that's one of the main reasons why I bought these. This one pack came with three um, mesh bags so um, you can't beat that for a dollar 25 and they're 12 inch by 15 inch so I think these are always a great idea to have on hand for delicates. Uh, the next thing that I bought that I have like duplicates of that I bought is this photo frame. It comes with a little like jute twine and then the little clip here that you can do two four by sixes it says or you can do obviously other sizes if you want to um but it has just a little jute twine for hanging or you can fasten some other kind of hook on the back but i thought these were cute just you know to put some pictures up obviously we have other pictures i went with the black just to kind of go with the theme of a lot of the frames that we have um, these frames actually are from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for years and they have held up through two moves. So they're not the best quality, but at the same time, they do hold up if you take care of them. All right, now let's go through some home decor slash beauty stuff that I picked up recently. Um, I did pick up one of the square um, wire wreaths. And I thought this was a cute shape. Um, I'm thinking of doing like florals all the way around or maybe florals like three quarters of the way and then a cute um, bow. So I thought I'd try my hand at a square one because I thought it was 
I thought it would be a cute, like unique shape. Even if it's done like this, I think hanging on the wall would look really cute. Next, I picked up some home decor items that are like sea themed or like beachy themed because I have currently a dolphin shower curtain um, and I wanted to get some accessories for the bathroom for that. So I found this really cute sea turtle. I was digging through the wall art and I found this sea turtle. Sorry, the ring light is really glaring. There you go. And I just thought that he would be a cute addition on the wall in the bathroom um, to go with some, you know, beach decor. And then I found this really cute seahorse and it's a salty and happy. And I like this like little aluminum accent that the seahorse has. Um, so I'm not sure like exactly where I'm gonna put this in the bathroom, but I thought it was really cute to go with the beach theme. I also found this really adorable like tabletop decor and it's a mermaid lives here and I thought that that would be really cute um, on the countertop in the bathroom and then I found one more countertop item for the bathroom and it says the sand and me carved into this wood and it has a little whale well, I thought that um, those items would look adorable with my dolphin shower curtain. All right, this next item is not um, home decor. <laughs> it's kind of its own category of uh, pets, but it, it was a necessity. And we always buy our doggy poopy bags from the Dollar Tree. They had one pack left that had little cactuses and donuts. And I had never seen these particular ones before. We usually get like the solid blue or solid black. So I thought these were really cute for summer. So I went ahead and got a pack of these. And I did pick up some beauty items. So I know they've had the um, lashes for quite some time now and I just never tried them. So the Ioni lashes, these are the 3D faux mink lashes. And they had the Aquarius ones and they are a natural doll medium length. So I thought that those were nice and fluffy and pretty and I'm, I'm interested to give them a try. And then they had the Ioni natural light doll. And those look, you know, for more like every day, I think, um, versus the 3D ones. And then um, these ones are definitely like for everyday use, natural light wispy. And then I've never tried the Ioni lash glue. Um, so I did pick up this. I have extremely sensitive eyes. So I'm very curious to see like how my eyes react to this glue or hopefully they won't react to this glue. Um, but I did like that it's 100% vegan and I like that their brand is made in the USA. So I really do like that. They're cruelty free and vegan. My mom needed an eyeliner pen, uh, pencil sharpener, so they didn't have any like just by themselves. So I got her this pack with um, two eyeliners and then the sharpener included. And then I did see these in the beauty aisle as well. Um, they were they are by Aroma Guru. So this one is a lavender roll on, and then this one is a Muscle Ease roll on which is sweet almond oil and then muscle ease essential blend um, if any of you have tried these let me know um, how you like them it says it's a hundred percent pure and natural essential oils let's see the muscle ease blend is wintergreen eucalyptus peppermint ginger black pepper turmeric and nutmeg so and then this one is lavender so let me know if any of you have tried these. This is the first time I've actually seen these. I don't, I'm not sure if they're new or if they've been there, but that's the first time I've been exposed to them. So I'm kind of interested in trying these out and see how well they actually work. All right, another household item I picked up is some of this 
bang cleaner. <laughs> it says it's totally awesome. So hopefully it works. I haven't actually tried this particular spray, um, but it's bathroom and shower cleaner. And I mostly got it for like cleaning the hard water spots and stuff out of the showers. Um, so I'm hoping that it works good for like hard water buildup. And then I also need to give my car a good cleaning. So I got some of the Armor All All Purpose Cleaner um, just for cleaning the dashboard, the steering wheel, um, stuff like that. And I did get some microfiber towels. I'm not sure where they went, but I did have some microfiber towels to go with this. Um, so there's that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I did with them. One of the dogs might have carried them off. <laughs> From the food section, I did pick up a bottle of apple cider vinegar. Um, I have a nice big bottle of like organic apple cider vinegar that I use for cooking and things like that. Um, I mostly got this for to make like a hair rinse out of. And then I'm also a nurse that works in procedures and I have to wear a scrub cap half the time. So my scalp, like I sweat a lot and then I end up getting like little pimples on my scalp and they're very sore. So I use like apple cider vinegar rinse every once in a while and that like gets rid of the pimples on the scalp. So um, you can dilute it with water and there you go. You just rinse your hair with it. Um, make sure you rinse it out of your hair really good. The next two bags full are from the office supplies and school supplies section. They put out the school supplies like last week, I think. And I went over there the other day and they had a ton of new cute stuff available. Um, I got some things for like organizing my desk, but then I also got some things for like my planner supplies. So we're gonna go through that right now. All right, first they have these really cute like pencil pen holders. And this one is like a rainbow ombre. And I actually picked this up for makeup brushes <laughs> um, to organize my makeup brushes in the bathroom. So I'll be using this for makeup brushes. Um, but they had plenty of other colors to choose from and I may go back and get one to organize like pens and pencils into. Now these two things are, <laughs> this is a, a dry erase block that you can make games out of. If you're a teacher or you know you homeschool or you just want to play with, make a game with your kids. Um, you know you can write things on the circles and then here's the little dry erase markers and these ones are the ones with the erasers on the end um but i bought this for me and jeff for when we go to <laughs> actually for when we go to the parks uh, i thought it would be fun to um write different activities on the dice and then roll the dice and see you know what we land on or like a different restaurant or something roll it and then that's where we'll eat whatever lands straight up so I thought that that would be a fun you know activity that we could do for the amusement lifestyle channel that we've been filming on so that's why I picked those up this next find was super surprising to me it is from tech theory it is a three-piece accessory kit for Apple AirPods so that's what it looks like. And um, it comes with the protective shell, the comfort fit soft wing uh, covers for your actual AirPods and then a magnetic pod strap. So if you're doing like activities, then um, you know, you can keep them in easier. So I really like that. They had them for yeah, the AirPods and then they had them for the AirPod Pros. The AirPod Pro ones were like a lavender color. I'm tempted to go back and get some. Currently I only have the AirPods, but someday I'm going to upgrade to the AirPod Pros. Um, and it would be something nice to have, you know, for when I do upgrade. All right, so I've got quite a few little things here. Um, here's a six pack of magnetic bookmarks and these are all like Bible verses and things that I thought were cute. Inspirational quotes. <clears throat> and then this, this little pack is like a little sticky note set. So it opens up and then you have little sticky notes and flags. Um, 
And then we've been doing word searches, Jeff and I have, in the evening. So I picked up another word search book. They have a ton of like word search, word puzzle books at the Dollar Tree. So this one looked cute. And then here's a large print one for when I'm blind after work. All right, one more bag to dig into, you guys. I know this is long. Um, I went ham a little bit. Here's another sticky note set, and this one says Tropical Vibes. And then it opens up, and you've got like the long one that's really nice for making like store lists. It has cute little flamingos at the bottom. And then just two other style of sticky notes over here. The one says Aloha. I thought that was really cute. And then this, this also came with a pen. I don't know if it writes, <laughs> but it came with a pen, so cute. All right, here is a desk organizing set that I picked up. And they have lavender, pink, and then they had like a light teal color. I got lavender and everything that I'm gonna show you guys. And then I also got this electric pencil sharpener, which I was really surprised to find. I've never seen uh, an electric pencil sharpener at the Dollar Tree before. It takes, it takes three AAA batteries. And I just thought it was really cute. I also picked up some extra badge reels. Um, if you didn't know, you can find badge reels at the Dollar Tree in like the um, office supplies section. These ones are not my favorite kind. I like the clip-on kind, but these ones just kind of, they have this kind of clip on the back. But I needed, I didn't need them. I just wanted to have them on hand in case my badge reel broke for work. And I like the little lavender color. All right, the next thing that I picked up is two of the Bic cover-up correction tapes. Um, I was surprised to see these for a dollar there. I don't know why. I don't recall seeing these before, but um, they have like a whole bunch of them. So I like to have these on hand when I'm doing my planner. If I make a mistake or if I need to like change something in there, I don't like those canceled stickers. I like to just do a white out over it. That way I can write in that square. I picked up a couple of these nice um, grippy Pro Marks pens, and um, I just got those because I wanted some nice pens to write um, to write with at work for charting purposes. Uh, next, I got some of the photo paper um, because I want to print off some photos of the dogs and cut them out and. Um, yeah, I've never tried their photo paper from the Dollar Tree, so I just wanted to give it a try and see how well it works in my inkjet printer. And then I also, from the um, school supply section, I picked up a couple of the just plain um, notepad paper, like ruled paper um, notepads. And I thought this was cute with like the purple sparkly and then the little aqua sparkly. All right, next I got quite a few planner supplies. Um, this is a little fitness goal journal. I saw this on Twisted Gypsy's channel. She had showed this little fitness journal where you can write like your monthly goals and fit tracker, meal tracker. I lost 23 pounds, but I want to lose more. So I thought maybe this could help me like, you know, stick to goals and, you know, figure out exactly what my goals are for the rest of the year. All right, now it's sticker time, you guys. Did you know that the Dollar Tree has planner stickers? Those of you who are like planner addicts, I'm sure that you've already found the planner stickers at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have a ton to choose from, so I did pick up several packs because what a deal for $1.25. There's so many stickers here. Um, these aren't like planner stickers. Th this particular pack is just cute little kawaii uh, foods, but I thought they would be cute to have for my planner. <laughs> Um, these are planner stickers. Now these are by Crafter Square and some of them have 300 in the pack. Actually, do they all, they all have 300 in the pack. Cool. So these ones are for pets. I don't know if you can see that, but 
They have doggy and kitty stuff on here. We have like grooming appointment, veterinary appointment, bath time, treats, buy pet food, you know, walking, things like that. Pooper scooper. <laughs> so I picked up, <laughs> actually picked up three packs of those because we have dogs and I just thought that it would be cute to, you know, to, you know acknowledge them in my weekly planning. So, and then these next ones are exercise ones. These ones. So I got two packs of these. Give like um, water tracking goals. Um, you know, wheeling or wheeling, um, weigh-in stickers, meal prep stickers, things like that. Um, so they're pretty cute. Um, gym day step step stickers. So I really liked those. I thought they were cute and you know something um, fun to add to the weekly planning in the planner. Uh, just to, you know, stay motivated. So these next ones are kind of just more like payday stickers to do, um, just like everyday kind of thing. Appointments, doctor appointment, dental appointment, things like that. And then that's kind of the same for these ones as well. But I got these ones because they had um, the little airplanes and the little shopping carts for, you know, travel planning and for um, like shopping planning. And these ones are more like everyday kind of thing as well. And they also have like sh little shopping carts, daily icons, day off. I like these little um, money sign ones for to mark paydays in the planner. Whew, that was a lot, you guys. <laughs> I'm actually super tired now after going through all of that stuff. Um, let me know below what you liked out of this haul. Um, have you found any of these products at your local Dollar Trees? Favorite things from this haul that I found from the Dollar Tree, I think, include the, uh, obviously the AirPod kit was a total awesome find. Um, that's definitely like my top favorite thing that I found from this haul. And then the planner stickers are definitely a favorite, um, as well as like the bathroom accessories for the beach theme that um, I'm trying to go for in there. If you like this kind of content, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free and does not cost a thing. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button. That way you don't miss a video when I upload. All right, thank you so much friends for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.